Here comes Jay Walker. We sold her in 2018 and she's back for sale again with us. She's a 42 foot trad built in 1984 by Stoke on Trent Boat Builders. She was last blacked in 2019. She was last serviced in 2020, but been used very little since, to be honest. So there are two hull surveys available one from 2017 and one from June 2019. So three years ago. They're both available for viewing in the office. Traditional stern. Paintwork's in reasonable condition. A few battle scars below the gunnels there, but it's fairly normal. Roof paint is in reasonable condition as well. That's just been cleaned and jet washed. Cratch cover on the front. The well deck is three foot seven inches long. That front locker is the water tank. It's integral. It's about 230 litres. There's a water filter tap in the galley sink. This did have two chairs in the well deck last time we sold it. It was like a little conservatory. So you can get a couple of chairs in there. Glazed front doors. And in we go. She's fitted out an ash face ply with hardwood trim in the saloon and the galley. It's been painted in the rear half of the boat. Head height on the boat is six foot one. Wooden laminate floor in here and the galley. Storage cupboard there. This step stroke chest is more of a chest than a step. There's very good storage in there. And at the moment, the uh, bumble's making a fuss. The sitting room's open plan. It's 10 feet, six inches long in here. That Morso squirrel stove was new in 2018. It's in good condition. And the galley, that's a brand new cooker. The oven and grill have never been used. Three of the hobs have never been used. Only one of the hobs have been used for boiling the kettle. That's why the tin falls over it to keep the rest of the hob clean. These worktops are Blue Eyes Italian granite. There's a lot of drawers in this kitchen. The galley itself is six feet two inches long. Useful little cupboard under here. And three good sized cupboards on the port side. Good storage space. Stainless steel sink over here with that drawer's a very deep drawer and a couple of further drawers underneath it. This is a 12 volt fridge in Lander. It's not actually been wired in since the current owner bought her and it, so it's not been used since. That would need trying and testing. And on we go. This is the bedroom. This used to be a dinette, which turned into a double bed. The dinette function of it's been taken out, but it's very easily reinstated if required. The bed itself is six feet, four inches long, three foot, 10 inches wide. Storage underneath, a couple of shelves at each end. Carpet below the gunnels there. And here's the washroom. The porter potty there. Ceramic sink. It's a lovely sink, actually. And we sold it before. The, the shower tray is under the floor here. That just pulls up and there's a shower tray underneath it. There was a curtain in here, shower curtain, but that's been taken out. Again, that could be reinstated quite easily. And behind the door here, some very useful shelves. That could be turned into a wardrobe with shelves underneath, to be honest. And up into the engine room. There's an inverter. It's a two and a half kilowatt Sterling Pro Combi inverter charger. The engine's under here. It's a BMC 1500. That was reconditioned in 2013. Batteries on board. There's three 110 amp hour domestics and one 100 hour starter. There's a cupboard behind that white board, actually, that lifts out from the storage behind there. There's also a taff seat that sits on a pole on the back of this boat. That's in that cupboard I just mentioned on the left of the screen here under the moors. And back we go. Hot water on the boat's heated by the engine, or there is an immersion heater when plugged into the landline. All the lighting's LED. 
There's two six kilo gas bottles on the stern deck. They're in that inset cupboard on the starboard side of the engine room. And for a 42 foot boat, she feels, well, there's ample space in here for holidays or living aboard. Good sized boat for busy areas, actually, if you're looking for moorings in busy areas, London or whatever. And there we go. That's Jay Walker. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.